Thank you, Jackie. Um, I'm, I call myself, as well as being a Reiki master, I'm a mind coach. Um, and I've been working with people for about 30 years. Starting off in corporate, then getting into the health and fitness industry, and then back to my very first love and getting back to the human psychology. But just being with people is really what I do. And what I want to talk to you about tonight um, is something that's really passionate to my heart, and that's mind-heart mastery. And listening to the theme of, of what's been happening um, from our presenters already, this is really what the energies and of 2012 are really about. What I've had coming through personally for me and, and what I've had channeled is that we've been called to step out of using our divine masculine energy only and stepping into that balance of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Historically, we've been working through that divine masculine in a, a very focused way. And through the Aquarian age that's coming, we've had that Venus now is, is the influence for our dear Mother Earth. And of course, Venus is the, the planet that controls love. So, you know, our heart energy is our love energy. But what's happened what, and what I see in my, in, with my clients and what I see in clinic and in the workshops that I run, that people have been stuck in their mind. And they don't know how to take that, what seems such a short distance from the mind to the heart can, in, if we look at it in a physical distance, but it can be the longest journey of their life. And so what um, myself and my business partner, Kim, We've created a company called A Conscious Connection and one of the workshops that we run is Mind Heart Mastery. And the whole basis of that is to give people practical tools in how that they can actually take back control from this mind that's, that we've trained that actually drives the bus, that runs the show, rather than being a tool for us to use in our lives. So really, if you think about the mind, it's a lot of electrical impulses going around up there and it, for me, it's the hard drive. It's, it's the computer that runs the unconscious programs. You know, our unconscious mind is such a powerful tool. I mean, we don't have to give it any instructions to make our eyes blink, make our heart beat, make our lungs push air around, for our blood to flow. It does that automatically. But the other things that it does for us, it actually traps us in automatic programs that have been downloaded and that we've adopted from our conditioning. I mean, we all have problems. Hands up anyone in the room that doesn't have a problem. Good, okay. And you know what the cause of all our problems is? And you know when they start? In this physical life form, if you believe in past, li uh, past lives, they go back from any time that we've been incarnated. But if you're only, if you're a believer in, you know, you're here in this one life form, well, they, they start when we're born, okay? So that, what we want to get um, really into relationship is what are those unconscious programs that run the show? So I'll just give you some examples, and just, if the, any of this stuff ever happens, just show a show of hands. Have you ever had the experience of doing something in the heat of the moment that you regretted later? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know, your reactions flow out of the gate of you before you've even realised that something's happened. And then there's that process of, oh my God, what happened? What did I say? What did I do? How did I react? I use an, uh, an, um, an example of, uh, you know, you're driving along the highway and you come to a roundabout and, and you lose concentration, present moment awareness for a moment, you accidentally cut someone off. And the horns hoot and they roll the windows down and you're getting a finger and it's like, oh my God, you know. And then what happens for you? You know, there's, there's that anxiousness going and oh my God, what have I done, what have I done? And then you go into like an automatic program of reaction. And somewhere along the line, it feels like you've lost all sense of who you are. Logic flies out the window. So what... Um, what that is, is that there's been some trigger. There's been some imprint on that historical fight flight part of your brain. It's a tiny little vessel back there called the amygdala, about the size of an almond, but has so much power. And these imprinted unconscious patterns actually run those automatic reactions. So what we do in Mind Heart Mastery is actually take you in there and get you to sort through and sift out and figure out 
where those automatic reactions come from. And we, we do what's like a computer defrag if you're into computers and teach you skills as how you can actually get into alignment with what happens in that unconscious mind. Because while you're running from that unconscious program, what's happening to all your heart energy? What's happening? All these emotions are firing off in your body. Adrenaline and all of these unhealthy um, hormones are getting pumped into your organs that are <coughs> causing you disease. So what we want to do is give you practical still skills so that in the moment you can bring yourself back to that state of balance. You can say, whoa, is this real right now? You know, what, what was that reaction? Where did it come from? Is it a memory from my past? Is it somebody else's voice that's just suddenly spewed out of my mouth? You know, we, we want you to get in touch with the creator of those patterns and we give you the tools that you can actually defuse and flip the memories, that you can actually change those to be conscious patterns of behaviour. So who'd like a bit of that? We all would. <laughs> Who's been going through some stuff lately? Again. Now, so, yeah. And what we've been called to do because of what some people call a quickening, but because of the energies coming through for 2012, we've been given this great opportunity to really dive in and look at our historical stuff, all of those old patterns. Have you found yourself recreating the same types of behaviours? It's like, oh my God, I started off here, how did I get there? Has anyone had that experience that they find themselves doing the same scenario over and over again and not knowing why? That's that unconscious programming. So what we want to do is, is have you get into relationship with that so that you're driving the bus, so that you come back to that divine feminine energy of, of trusting yourself, which is, Lisa spoke about trust. It's about trusting your own essence, that we've given our power away. Every time we have a reaction, who has the power? Whoever we've had the reaction to, you know, or a situation. You know, if we find ourselves getting into the same sort of relationships that don't support us, who, who's getting the power? Not us. We keep giving that away to ourselves. And what that's created is separateness. So we, we, have, we, we do, we feel lost, we feel alone, we feel abandoned, we feel rejected. <coughs> but who is it really that's rejected and abandoned ourselves? It's us. Because we've allowed that unconscious mind to automatically run the show. So who'd like to actually take back control of the driver's seat? Yeah. So that is that, and one of the things that we do is that, that we want you to get into present time, because every time you have those automatic reactions, you're not living in the moment, and it is the moment. Like Lisa said, our, our purpose is inside us, but every time we have that automatic reaction, how, how can we get in touch with really what our purpose is? The mind, it's, it's really powerful. It's learned to fear, judge and doubt. Our body hasn't, but if we're operating from an amputated state of just in this area of our body, we don't get the opportunity to be in touch with our body wisdom. All of the knowledge, all of the knowing, you know, all of the good stuff that we have inherited that's in our gene pool, and all the good parts of our conditioning because we've, looked, we've forgotten how to trust ourselves. I think that's really what we've been called to do with the energies of 2012 is just stop giving our power away. Stop giving it away. Stop asking somebody else to be responsible for what's going on in our lives. Just take that responsibility back and realise that we have choice. We have choice about how we respond. We have choice about how we act, how we react. We have choice to love ourselves and to vibrate that love energy out. But what we need to do first is just call ourselves back inside, get in touch with our true essence. And one of the things that we, one of the tools that we ask people to learn to practice is meditation because, you know, when you go inside, when you sit in silence, and that doesn't mean to say you've got to sit, you know, in the lotus position on a cushion for 30 minutes and go on, but just to come back to that place of stillness. And one of the gifts that we've um, given to, or a gift that, that we've given to you tonight is that beautiful CD that um, Jackie was talking about 
and um, we were very fortunate uh, to come across that. Um, and I'll tell you the little story about it because it's, it's a beautiful piece of music that is in, um, incorporated with the healing codes to actually support us to raise our vibration. And this is what it's really about. When we get in touch with our essence, we lift ourselves out of the drama, out of those lower vibrations where we actually create disease and disharmony in our, in our body. Okay, so the, it's called musical rapture and you'll feel it, uh, you'll get it in your little gift bag that, that the girls are going to hand out to you later. And um, it comes uh, from, uh, I've forgotten her name again. Patricia. That's Patricia. Thank you, thank you Kim. Um, she's a, a well-known psychic and channel, Patricia Coda Rogels. Um, her son passed away suddenly uh, not that long ago and she put out on her website that her son had passed and she was going to be running a memorial service for him. And uh, a famous French composer, Frédéric de la Rue, actually contacted her and said that he needed to be at the memorial service because her son was trying to um, contact her through him. So, you know, she, she received this call from him she went, and she said, yes, fine, if you've got a message from my son, you're welcome to be here. So he went along to the memorial service and, and after the memorial service her son actually channeled through these beautiful healing sounds that he's incorporated onto this beautiful CD that we're, we're giving you tonight and it, it runs for over an hour, it's, it's encoded with healing codes, you can play it you know, as you go to sleep and have this beautiful vibration running through your body that's going to support you to, to step into the high vibration as well. And like I said, meditation is one of the key tools for you to be able to connect with your heart energy. It's only one of the things that, that, um, that we use in the workshop, but some of the other things are just instant techniques that you can use to bring, you back, bring yourself back to present time. <coughs> so we've, we're actually being asked to run the workshop down here on the Gold Coast, as you heard on from the Sunshine Coast and Kim's from Brisbane. And it's the first time we've brought it to the Gold Coast. We're running it at um, beautiful Peter and Jennifer are giving, um, we're using the yurt at Mudgery Bar on the 22nd of October, so that's in about 17 days time. And there's still a few, a few spaces left. Um, so if you want to learn more about um, Mind Heart Mastery and actually learn the tools, it's an experiential day, it's a one day workshop. We get in and we, we dissect the subconscious mind and, and so you have an understanding of, of how this is created in you specifically, and then we give you the tools to actually be back in present time and be back in the now. And like I said, to actually rewrite, rewrite the script, to re-imprint that part of you, as that part of the unconscious mind that's running these sabotaging patterns. But really, all they're doing is trying to keep you safe, but in the long run, they're holding you back from, from living your full potential. So Mind Heart Mastery is about, once again, the theme of the night is, is incorporating and balancing the divine masculine and the divine feminine, and so that we're not coming from that place of separateness anymore, that we are all connected, and that we do all have a purpose, and the more that we emanate and vibrate at that vibration of love, the more that this transition through these rocky times where we're, all we're doing is just in a healing of the earth's in a healing crisis and, and we're along that journey as well. So just as um, Liza said, if we heal ourselves and same, it's, that's the theme of the night so far. The key to all of this is just being present with yourself and loving and forgiving yourself as you go through this process and because that's what we're all here to do, is to heal. And as we heal, our loved ones heal, all the people that we touch heal, the ripple effect goes out and then, you know, our dear earth um, has that vibration of love as well. So, thank you. Thank you.